All right, we are in historic Mount Airy, North Carolina, otherwise known as Mayberry. Let's go check it out. I'm here at the Mount Airy Chamber of Commerce and I am with Jenny Smith. Jenny is here and she's going to tell me about some of the really cool dog friendly things there are to do in Mount Airy. Yes, so you can actually take your dog um, in a Mayberry squad car with the, at Wally service station, they do squad car tours. You can take your dog in the car with you and ride them around. Um, they'll do a tour. It's about a 35 to 40 minute riding tour. We also have a off leash dog park. We have one for small dogs and large dogs. Um, right off the greenway, we have just under seven miles of paved greenway, which is also great for pets. Um, the Dapper Hound is a fantastic uh, pet store with all kinds of clothing, toys, treats, everything you can think of for your dog, um, even cat treats too. Um, great place to check out right on Main Street. Most all of our stores downtown are pet friendly with stickers in the door that say dogs welcome. Um, if they're not, if they don't have that sticker on there, feel free to stick your head in and just ask if they are pet friendly because most of them would rather welcome your dog than a toddler. <laughs> awesome, thank you. You're welcome. So the Dapper Hound, love the name. Super cute. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff. All right, we're at the Dapper Hound with the owner and her right-hand woman. This is so cool. Um, this is a great store in downtown Mount Airy. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Dapper Hound, we've been here about six and a half years. Uh, we have accessories for your pet, uh, ranging from toys, treats, collars, to um, raincoats, wife jackets, antlers, um, home and gift supplies like coffee mugs and poop bags, of course, all those like accessories that you don't think about uh, when you're traveling and you have forgotten. And even some Halloween costumes. Yes. Halloween costumes. Cool and we costumes. also have uh, clothing for the owners as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not just the pet. <laughs> what makes this store different from other stores? Well, you're not going to find um, big name brand things in here like you would at like Petco and PetSmart, PetSense, things like that, which those stores are great, but the one-on-one -on -one relationship that Shelby has with her merchants and her vendors, um, she just carries things that other stores aren't going to have, like the um, antlers that are naturally harvested and the um, treats that are made here in town, things like that you're not going to find in big box stores, and that's what sets um, the Dapper Hound apart from other shops, I think. And it's a small boutique specialized in the one-of-a-kind things. That's awesome. And we love supporting local economies, so yeah. Yeah. These are made or harvested locally. Mm -hmm. um, we even pass out a thing showing, you know, where these different things are. The Joyce Farms is from Winston-Salem, so that's local. Yeah. Um, so then we have so we can chicken. Get chicken wings and turkey feet, and all yep. that stuff from local farmers. Even hog noses here. Even hog noses. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Never had one, but there's a first time for everything. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Look at this stuff. This is great. You got all sorts of great things. Toys and clothes and harnesses. I'm all about. Oh wow.
They've got a lot of really cool quaint stores downtown you need to check out. And uh, some are really dog friendly, which is nice. So bring your dog down, park your car and have some fun. this really pretty little, um, I don't know what we we'll call it, like an alleyway. It's all decorated and shaded. Rosie and I are hanging out, taking a little rest. It's really cool. So I hope you enjoy my trip to downtown Mayberry. Lots of really cool stores down here. I met some really awesome people. I learned there's a lot of people traveling with their dogs, which is always nice. And uh, you know, got to pet a few puppies along the way. All right, so we're gonna go check out a dog park here in Mount Airy. It is behind a plaza shopping center. So if you need to put something in your GPS um, and you can't find a dog park, put roses. Uh, looks like it is a nice big grocery store. And I also see, I'm thinking with over here, there's Thai Cafe. It's a nice little plaza, but it's behind it. So essentially you wanna put that in your GPS and then travel behind it and you will get there. Really cool, let's find it. Welcome to the Granite City Greenway. This is really cool. So there's lots of areas you can, trails you can go on that are paved, and they also have a dog park here. So this is the Emily P. Taylor Greenway Track Trail, which is really cool. And there's lots of really things, you, cool things you can do here. It says the Greenway to the left towards Veterans Memorial Park is at 1.25 miles, and the trail to the right is a half a mile. There's Geocache Adventures here. Lots of really cool things to check out, including a really nice dog park. They even have public restrooms not that far away from the dog park. So the dog park is at the quarter mile mark on the greenway. You can find it right here. All right, so they've got two fenced in areas that are really nice. One for large dogs, one for smaller dogs. As you can see, they have nice places to sit and a little agility area as well. So things you can play on with your dog. Let's go check it out. Rosie is ready to go in the dog park. This is a great dog park. They do have pet waste stations. They have lots of things to play with. They have lots of mature trees, which is great. So you get some shade. Your dog can run around. Rosie's happy. She's like, this is nice. <laughs> They have areas for people to sit down, which is great because as dogs run around, it's nice to take a break. There are things to play on, I love. They've got some agility toys over here so you can do some jumping. They also have fresh water. So that is a huge thing with dog parks, making sure you can have fresh water. called a stick library. So for dogs who like to play fetch with sticks or chew on sticks, 
they've got it here. So I would say that out of all the items that we look for in dog parks, this is great in the fact that it is, it is fenced in. It has a two gate fenced in to come in, which is nice. It has the water stations, it has a place to sit down. It has lots of toys and things for dogs to play on. And they've kept up a really good job of maintaining this. And it's right along the greenway. The only comment that we make that might be a negative is trying to park to get to it. It is behind a shopping plaza. And so if you do want to park close to where you get to this, you're going to have to park behind Rose's grocery store and a Thai cafe place. So that's our only negative to this dog park. But other than that, I would definitely put this on your list of places to come check out in Mount Airy, North Carolina, if you have a dog. All right, I think it's time for us to go. Rosie's like, let's go, Mom. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. And thanks for being our forever best friend.